Hey everyone, so do, would I recommend the A7 Lite? And I'll be sure up with you guys right from the beginning. I would not really recommend this tablet. It is a nice looking tablet. It is a decent tablet, but for the price tag that it has, which is $160 for the base version, or the version I have here is $200. To me, in my opinion, it is just not worth it when you have other tablets out there around that same price, maybe a little bit more money, some are even a little bit less money that are just, I think, better tablets, including their own Samsung Tab A7, the non light version, which we have right here. Uh, especially right now, this is normally $203. Right now, they are on clearance at Best Buy for a bit less than 200 bucks. Or you can get the, A7, or the A8 as well, the new version of this, for $230. So for 30 bucks more than the better, more expensive version of the A7 Lite, you can get an even bigger and more more better, that's not words, uh, even better tablet uh, for $30 more. Uh, and then two, I would not even recommend at all the base version of the A7 Lite, which is 160 bucks. I would not even look at that one. I had that one, I did not like it at all. I returned it and then bought this one, which gives you double the storage from 32 up to 64. And then it has another gig of RAM as well. Uh, from 3 going up to 4 gigs. Uh, even with that 4 gigabytes of RAM, this is not the best at gaming by any means. It's kind of laggy in games. It takes a bit to load in games. It just isn't that great of an experience. The base 87, which has 3 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, loads in games better and plays games better than the better version of the Lite. So, in short, I would not recommend this device unless you really like the way it looks. And you wanted this 8.7 inch display compared to a 10.4 or there are other options out there like the the amazon fire hd 10 plus which is a hundred and i believe it's 180 dollars for that one uh for the plus version 150 for the non plus version which again i would recommend getting the plus version of that for 30 dollars more uh that is again a bigger display than this 10.1 inches compared to this 8.7 and it has four gigabytes of RAM and just is a better device overall, in my opinion. Uh, again, this is a nice, very nice looking dis display, very nice looking device. Excellent speakers. It has dual speakers too, uh, one on each side. Dual speakers, they sound good. They get nice and loud. It's just for this, this price range, I do not recommend it. If this better version, the one we have here, instead of 200 bucks was maybe 140, $150, I could see recommending it more, but yeah, for $200 price tag, to me, it's just not worth it. There are better options, even from Samsung for about the same price or a bit more. Just to show you guys a little bit of an internet speed test here, I did not clear out the history, so this is not even with the history being cleared. This is with it having the memory of these websites. First, we're going to go to Pokemon. Uh, of course, when you clear out a history, it makes the device load in those uh, the website's a bit slower than if you do not clear out your history if you've been to those websites before because it has that memory of the websites. So like this website, Pokemon.com, it loads in just fine. Again, the A7 is quicker by a little bit. But the biggest thing here, and pay attention to about right here, there's an animation. Okay, so that time it did just fine. Most of the time when I load in, of course, when I'm making a video, uh, most of the time when I load in this site and look up these th these Pokemon, this animation is very choppy. It just kind of goes, <laughs> it, it's just very unsmooth and fluid. That was actually very, very well, fluid. Let's see if we'll do it this time. Okay, so like there you can see it was a little bit more choppy. Let's see, so, I mean, basic websites it loads in pretty well again it takes a bit longer than say the a7 which i know is a higher end device but you gotta remember too this is the higher end of this tablet go here to best buys website this is a bit of a harder website for whatever reason it takes things a bit longer to load in I'll let this guy load on in here. And if you want to see actual speed test comparisons, you guys can check out my, my channel. I've done many with this device versus other devices, including the A7. Um, but you guys can just see here, this takes a little bit to load in. 
Again, it's not the worst thing. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying this is the worst tablet you could buy. It's just for that price tag, I don't think this is worth it when there are better options out there for the same or a bit more money. Let's see. It did click on it. So this is where you can kind of start seeing a little bit of issues with this device. Sometimes it takes a bit longer than what I think it should. All right, that's not even 100% loaded in. I will also just do quickly show off Roblox Royal High here. I know not everyone plays Roblox. I just know a lot of kids do play this game. Uh, maybe you're a parent that's gonna buy for your kid. Uh, again, I'd recommend looking at a different device. So I load in real high. Now this is a higher, uh, I guess you could say more graphical game. Uh, a lot of budget tablets kind of struggle with this. But again, we look at the A7 in the same graphic settings, which is just the lowest graphic setting. The A7 does not have issues at all. Oh, very, very little issues. Whereas this has issues. We'll let this load in. It does load in the game actually pretty fast. I'm actually kind of surprised at how quickly it loads in games. Okay, it's not the quickest, but there are slower devices. Start off here in the boat. Let's see, so there's a little bit of lag here. We will show you guys the settings. It is in lowest graphics, manual mode. Okay, come on, get, get off the boat. So right there, you guys can see there's a bunch of lag. And it looks like it's kind of dusk out at the moment. So you see you're kind of running in slow-mo. I have it up all the way, fast as you can run. And it's like you're in slow-mo running. This is how this game plays. Personally, I would not want to play it like this. Again, get the A7, it runs just fine. No issues like this at all. So, again, personally, I would recommend a different device. If you're looking at Samsung, get the A7 or now get the A8. Uh, both of those devices are better than this for not much more money, if not even about the same price when they are on sale, and this one's not. Uh, I mean, unless you really like this form factor or something. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think. As always, I really do appreciate you. Hope you all have a good one. See you guys next time. Goodbye.